What's up guys, Bob Busker here at Think Computers and today we're going to be doing our installation here on Fractal Designs Node 605 case. We have our hardware set out, so we have a Z77 motherboard, Sapphire HD 7790 graphics card, a normal 3.5 inch hard drive, a 2.5 inch solid state drive, and an 850 watt power supply. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is install your motherboard. Now, before we go ahead and get into that, there is a support beam, as I said, that can be removed. You take out two screws on each side, which I've already done, and you can take the support beam right out of there. Um, so you don't have it in the way when you're doing your install. Now the standoffs are not installed, so you need to install those yourself. And Fractal Design did not include the standoff tool, which makes it a lot easier to install standoffs, but I didn't have any problems here. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is take our motherboard here, and it should be simple enough to just get right in there. And we line up our holes and make sure everything goes in correctly. And looking at the holes, we look at our holes on the standoffs, they line up perfectly so we can just easily go ahead and um, secure the motherboard with screws. Now it's time for our hard drives and they go in these little cages here, um, these white cages. And the rule of thumb here is the grommets here, um, the rubber grommets, which also help with vibration dampening are made for your three and a half inch hard drives. And these little spots right here are made for your two and a half inch hard drive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna install both a two and a half inch and three and a half inch hard drive and show you what that looks like. Now we have both of our hard drives installed in a single hard drive cage here. We have our two and a half inch drive right here and our three and a half inch drive on this side. Now, you also want to remember the longer side that sticks out, that's where you want your connections to stick out at. So, you know, if you're putting your drive in and your connections are out this way, you're gonna have a lot of trouble trying to connect them. So you wanna make sure that your connections are facing out with the long end right here. Now, we're not gonna put this back in the case just yet. We're gonna wait till the end. So next is our power supply. Now for the power supply, the only thing you really have to worry about is this fan right here. This might get in the way of longer power supplies. Now, Fractal Design does have all the specifications that you'll need to see if your power supply will fit. They let you know the maximum length of a power supply that can fit inside this case. But the only thing you really have to remember when installing your power supply is the fan goes towards the bottom right here. That's all you have to remember. So you go ahead and take your power supply kind of get it over that fan a little bit and we move it down in here and make sure we're all lined up and then we just have to secure it with screws. So I've gone ahead and pretty much wired everything up. I've gone ahead and installed my video card as well. Um, everything went pretty much perfectly. No real issues with everything. You wanna make sure there is um, room right here to, so we can put back in our hard drive cage. Now you wanna move all those cables out of the way. It might take a little bit of time, but you'll get them out of the way and you're pretty much ready to go and finally put that hard drive cage back in. So it's extremely easy. What we wanna do is just take our cage, which we just had sitting here. And what we wanna do is just kinda of get it down in there. We wanna move our cables out of the way and get it to go right down in there. And of course, we're gonna go ahead and secure it with screws put the top back on and we're good to go. So this has been our installation video of Fractal Designs Node 605 case. If you have any questions or anything like that, or if you're having problems installing, go ahead and leave your questions and concerns in the comments below. And remember guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Thanks for watching.